So when planning our online lessons using the ESAP framework, uh, we have access to various tools. We have access, for example, to our platform tools. So here I'm using Zoom, as I said, uh, and we've got various tools here. So there's the share screen option where I can share whatever I'm showing on my screen with my students. So that could be uh, a PowerPoint presentation, it could be a Word document, or it could be my presentation tool, which comes with my course book. We also have a whiteboard. So here we can type uh, information. We can present grammar, we can analyze form, we can highlight pronunciation features. We can also record new vocabulary, record errors, all of the things we do on a face-to-face -face board in a face-to-face -face classroom. Uh, so that's the whiteboard. We also have the uh, chat. So this is where we can chat to everyone in the group and all students can chat to each other. So everyone can type something and everyone can see what everyone else has said. And of course, when we have students in the class, we have the option of privately chatting with students individually as well. So we can provide them with support or answer their individual questions. We also have the breakout rooms where students can go and do pair work or group work. So they can go into individual virtual rooms and I can drop in on them unannounced and monitor and, and assess what they're doing. So this is very good, obviously, for communicative and collaborative tasks. And there's also the opportunity for participants to raise their hand so they can click on an, an icon, raise their hand so I can see if they have a question, if they want to speak or very useful if they finish a task so I know that we can move on because everyone has done.